Divine Masculine, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm a little salty with y'all right now, but still, thanks for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Nah? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. I'm here to just see what's up with y'all. What are y'all doing this week? What's popping? Because I saw what was up with the Divine Feminines and she is getting it in. So I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Y'all were like, MIA, like, like it's tumbleweed flowing through this motherfucker like where where are y'all like what are y'all doing you know anyway i'm just uh like i said here to just see what's up with y'all what are y'all doing just so you know i start all of my cards out upright in my deck i don't believe in starting out with reversals to start a reading that is some bullshit okay i also pre-shuffle the cards before i get started just to get a gist of what's going on so my first question was like, well, what's up with you, Divine Masculine? Like, what are you doing and shit? And this shit bleak as fuck. It's all grim and shit. Like, what the fuck is going on with y'all, right? And maybe, like I said, this may not resonate with all Divine Masculines, but these are the ones that I'm picking up on, okay? We got the Four of Swords. I got the Five of Pentacles. Clarify with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. Clarify with my Churro Marchetti, the main female. You got the tower, you got the high priestess, poverty, my G, poverty, okay? <laughs> and the king of wands, okay? First off, you divine masculine could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So everybody is out in this bitch, okay? It's all divine masculines. We calling all y'all. Roll call in this bitch, okay? Off top, divine masculine, I see you got a lot of shit on your mind. Like, what's new? You're always overthinking. Always. But the difference is this time, I think something happened, divine masculine. Did you lose your job or something? Did you lose some money? Did you get kicked out of an apartment? You know what I mean? I feel like times are, are kind of hard and you kind of dwelling on it. You like a stuck in the past ass motherfucker. Like... I've been seeing this a lot with y'all. Like, y'all are like, woe is me, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's it's starting to get old, G. It's starting to get old, my G. It's either that, like you lost out on some money, a job, your, your place where you live, something happened. Or, what I really think it is, is that your love walked out on you, didn't she? Or he, your divine feminine is gone, right? That ace of cups, gone. And you just watched them walk away, though. That's the ill shit. This is the spy card. So you watched your love walk away, right? Mind you, I clarified that with the main female. So you watched your main chick walk away, right? Watched your whole, like, basic life, like, walk out the door, divine masculine. And this is what you did, though. This is what you did. You just sat there and watched a motherfucker walk out. Like, who does that shit? Who does that? Like, what is going on? Is it a mindset, Divine Masculine? Are you used to, like, always catching L's to where you just, like, in give up mode at this point? Because why are you watching your love walk away? Like, who? I mean, and we're not talking about no random ass bitch. This Divine Feminine. So it's not like you're just watching some karmic walk out the door like deuces and chuck the deuces on the hoe. You know what I'm saying? This is your Divine, your main squeeze and shit. And you just watched her walk away. Like, what's going on? Right? Then you got the tower and the high priestess, right? With poverty. So that lets me know, number one, that you already feel lost and desolate and shit without your divine masculine. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say, okay? If you wasn't, you wouldn't be feeling like this and like this, okay? If you wasn't desolate and, and this says poverty. I don't, and shit, it may be poverty. Like I said, you probably lost your job, lost some money, lost a place. You lost something, divine masculine. You lost something, Besides your divine feminine, like shit's just crumbling beneath you. Like you built your house on sand. That's what you did. You built your house on sand and now the fucking waves are washing up divine masculine and they just washing all that shit away. That's what this shit is, right? And now you see it. Now you see it. You can only run from shit for so long, divine masculine. Like that's why the tower comes in. They say the tower comes in to shut shit down when you're scared to or, you know, you don't take the necessary steps to shut the shit down. And I feel like that's basically what happened. But you losing in this shit. Like, you know what I mean? You gonna watch your whole motherfucking sandcastle just wash away instead of trying to, like, save the sandcastle. Like, well, shit, let me get some of this sandcastle and move it closer to land, you know what I mean, before the whole motherfucking thing washes away. But you just watching it. King of Wands. 
Like, you know you need to be taking action. This is what you know you need to be doing, but this is what the fuck you doing, Divine Masculine. Like, you a lazy-ass motherfucker. I'm going to keep it so real with you. Like, why are you lazy? Like, what's up? What's up? Why are you just sitting there, King of Wands? Like, why don't you... Matter of fact, let's put one on the Four of Swords. Let's put one on here. Because King of Wands takes action and the Four of Swords doesn't. So it's a, it's like you just sitting there going over the shit over your head like, like a motherfucking rerun and shit. Like, like, I don't know. What's that shit that comes on back to back to back on Christmas Day? It's a Wonderful Life. You know that shit plays in French, Japanese, Chinese, Mandarin, Spanish, Italian. That's, that's what the Divine Masculine is doing. He's like going over all the shit that he's losing, what fucked up with the Divine Feminine and all that shit in all different languages and shit. Like it's just this, a bunch of scenarios. Like you're, you're starting to make up shit now, Divine Masculine. Let's put one on Four Swords. One of my true Marchetti's. Despair, okay? That came out with this Four of Swords. That's what I'm saying. Why are you like, are you on drugs? Like, I mean, why do you feel like this? Like, you know what I mean? If you are, and I feel like everybody's a child of God, so I ain't going to go there and say that you're not. But why are you so hopeless? You know what I mean? Like, why are you so hopeless? And if you are that hopeless, and it does have something to do with the divine feminine, with this main female, right? With your main squeeze, who you watch walk the fuck on, right? Why don't you go do something about it? Like, why would you sit? This is like a kid or like a, I don't know. It's just like childish. You know what I mean? It's like choosing to sit in a shitty ass diaper and not go change your drawers. Like, basically, like you have a whole drawer full of clean drawers, but you choose to sit in a shitty ass diaper. And I don't get it. Is it that you want sympathy or pity or is it that you want the divine feminine to come back to you? You know what I mean? I'm kind of feeling that shit. It's like, are you trying to, like, make us feel bad or something? Because it's like we feel bad, but not for you. We feel bad that the relationship is in the state that it's in. But we're done feeling bad for you. We're done feeling bad for you. So this does not move us. You know what I mean? Now we're looking at you like you just a poop at ass motherfucker that don't want to do shit. We starting to take this shit personal. Like, okay, well, shit, motherfucker, is it me? You know what I'm saying? But from these cards, I don't feel like it's us. I just feel like you just, I don't know. Like, did we just, you know what I mean? She keeps passing me by. She keeps passing me by. Right? Far side and shit. Like, is that what it is? That you think we just, like, just dipped and now we're unattainable? Like, I really want to know, Divine Masculine, because this, dwelling in, in this shit, you know what I mean? And despair and poverty. Like, what kind of shit is this? Like, you ain't even the same motherfuckers we met, knew, or fell in love with, or laid next to at night. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't even lay, to a, lay next to a motherfucker like this. I wouldn't. Because I would be like, he a sourpuss-ass motherfucker, and I don't want to lay next to his ass every night. Because he's always on some negative shit. This King of Wands is hella low vibrational. Like, you hella low right now. You hella low. Like, this is what's out here for you. Okay? Just peep the scene, yo. This is what's out here for you, Divine Masculine. And you just stalking your love. Stalking the Divine Feminine, basically. So you're just going to stalk the chick and not do shit about it and then feel like this. Like I said in some other reading, you're like the equivalent of somebody that goes out and smokes crack all night and then comes home and feels bad and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get high, probably on the Divine Feminine's pictures. Whatever you're doing to satisfy your craving for the Divine Feminine... It still make you feel like this in the end and shit because it's not real. You're like, I don't know. You're like, it's like you, you can have the real divine feminine, but you choose a fucking hologram. You know what I'm saying? You're choosing the hologram of how you want the divine feminine to be like all Stepford wife robotic and shit. And that ain't her. So it's like, are you going to step your fucking game up? You know what I mean? And get out this energy or are you just going to be this old sour puss ass mangy ass possum and shit that just stands it's like a stare off with a possum and shit divine feminine is having a stare off with a possum you would be the possum divine masculine you know they move all sluggish and they just fucking stare at you in the driveway when you pull up and you hunk and you like motherfuckers you gonna move and it's like a battle between you and the possum and shit right you are acting like a possum right now divine masculine i'm just saying yo okay moving on let me get off y'all's ass a little Again, this divine masculine could be a fire sign, water sign, air sign, earth sign, okay? They're all out here on this bullshit, okay? This bullshit is not excluding any sign. Like, I, it's bullshit, worldwide bullshit, okay, y'all? I'm just telling you, divine masculine, this is all he is. All he is, okay? 
Let's see how you feel about the divine feminine. I mean, because you walked, watched her walk away. I still don't understand that bullshit, but okay. Let's see. How does divine masculine feel about the divine feminine right now? Queen of Cups, right? Which makes sense because I said that you were stalking divine feminine shit. Watch your love. Watch the love of your life. Love of my life. Walk the fuck on out. Like, what kind of shit? is this that's why i'm starting to feel like maybe you feel like maybe divine feminine is too good for you and you ain't gonna say it but i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it for you like you know what i mean only time um, it's like when they say some people are scared of success you know what i mean i feel like divine masculine is scared of success with the divine feminine because it's on a whole nother level you know what i mean and i get the whole i don't get scared of success i don't i don't necessarily agree with that you can be intimidated by it or at least this is how i feel like if somebody was like offer me the biggest chance of a lifetime and i had to move away from my family everything hell yeah i'd be scared hell yeah but it's my life you know what i mean i'm gonna live my life this is a chance of a lifetime why would i pass that up yeah i'm gonna miss the things i used to do but what i'm gonna do sit there and miss the things i used to do and long for the shit that I want, you know what I mean? Or go get the shit that I want, you know what I mean? And figure out how to work the shit that I miss into my new life. Like, that's all the shit is. That's all the fuck it is. But this is how you feel about the divine feminine right now, okay? We're gonna keep moving. Queen of Cups, you love the broad, okay? You love divine feminine, period. Ain't no, oh, she's caring, intuitive, and I... No, you love this bitch, okay? Fuck it, you do, okay? Let's just keep it 100. How else does divine masculine feel about divine feminine? The fool came out, okay? So, like I said, you want you want to take this leap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify this fool. But you want to take this leap with divine feminine. You do. You want to take a chance. You want to be free. She's free-spirited. You see this about her. She is a free spirit. She does what she wants, when she wants, how she wants, and if she wants. You know what I mean? Like, she's a free spirit. You admire that about her. That's probably why you're watching her like this. You know what I mean? That's probably why. And you think of her as your main female. Because she's free, you can't, you can't trap, like, divinity, you know what I'm saying? You can't capture that shit. It's like trying to put a fart in a lunch bag. Like, it's air. You ain't never going to be able to catch that shit. You either become a fart too, you know what I mean? This is just an example. Like, you know, you either become the same element as divine feminine or you just become like the rest of these motherfuckers. You a clone. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're acting, like a clone, like the rest of the karmic masculines out here. And we really don't want to look at you like that, but I mean, shit, you looking like that motherfucker, you know? Anyway, how does this divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Moon reveal, okay? I mean, I keep saying moon reveal. Moon reverse, because the shit is out there, right? So your feelings are like, which is it's so, so this is all shit you keeping to yourself, divine masculine, apparently, right? Because we don't know none of this shit. That's why we all on fucking tarot channels and shit trying to get some answers. Because you ain't told us that you feel this way at all. We just know it. Maybe this is intuitively, maybe you know it. And you just ain't speaking it because ain't no swords out here. So intuitively, you know where you want to be, where you want to go, and who you want to be with. Who the love of your life is. But you just chose to watch her walk the fuck on out. And it's just like, ooh. Okay, let's put one on, uh, I said I was going to put one on this fool, because this is how you feel about the divine feminine, divine masculine. Page of Pentacles flew out. Flew the fuck out, okay? So you definitely want to take this leap and offer this damn pinnacle to the Queen of Cups, okay? You know, and you know this, man. You know what I mean? Like, what are, what's going on? It's like two different motherfuckers, I swear. Y'all are like two different people like I, I i have no clue who you are like you you feel one way but you do the opposite you know what i mean let's do the moon reverse what's this like i said he knows who he wants he you know who you want the vibe masculine you know who you want to be with you know who you love all that shit this king of wands knows you know what i'm saying he made a decision Long, long time ago in a far, far off place, there was a young lad. Like, this motherfucker knows. Like, the story's already been written, G. You already fucking know what you need to do. So why you're still in stuck in all this five of pinnacles and four of swords and tower and poverty and despair and shit? I have no fucking clue. I'm starting to feel like you a big-ass baby, yo. I'm starting to feel like you just a whiny-ass motherfucker, yo. Like, honestly. 
And I'm going to say that only because in my experience, I'm going to keep it real. If I wanted my divine masculine back, I ain't trying to toot toot beat beat my own horn or no shit. But if I wanted my divine masculine back right this second, I could call his ass, spit some bullshit, and have a motherfucker in my bed literally in probably an hour. I ain't even lying. But you know what I'm saying? I always did that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I always called. I always fixed the shit. And this time, I'm not fixing the shit. And it's been, what, I say four or five months? I ain't talked to that motherfucker since June. You know what I'm saying? I have not picked up the phone. And it's like, I could easily fix this shit. But then it would all be for nothing for the divine feminine to waste all that time for the, all that elevation and that high vibration shit and all the shit we've been doing to become the person that we are today on this date to go and just, like, give in because you don't know what the fuck you want to do. You know what I mean? And you do know what the fuck you want to do, but you want us to believe that. I feel like you want us to believe, like, you out here doing shit and you want us to call you when you really feel like this. It's like a, it's a game, Divine Masculine. It's a fucking game. And you're losing. You know what I mean? From what I see, from the shit that I did earlier with the Divine Feminine and the reading with you, she's moving on and you're soaking. And eventually, you're going to give in. You know why? Because this shit is going to destroy you. From your reading, what I'm seeing, the energy you're in, it's going to destroy you. What the Divine Feminine is doing, it's elevating her. Do you understand? Like, the light attracts. So all that light Divine Feminine has is kind of weaning you out, my G. You like a motherfucking Rose Z and shit, and we got motherfuckers... Like, in the pit, you know what I'm saying? We got people that paid $800 to see us perform. And you bought them fucking tickets all the way in row Z. Like, I don't even see you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't even see you no more. Because there's so many other people around Divine Feminine trying to get her attention, trying to be on her team and shit. And it's like, we looking in the crowd, but it's millions of motherfuckers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Million, I don't even see you no more, Divine Masculine. Like, is that what you want? Because the, the, the outcome it looks like that you want is for your Divine Feminine to kind of come back to you. You want Divine Feminine to come to you and communicate to you, right? That's what you want. So you can come back home and come back inside. But it's not working out this way this time. It's not. So now you panicking and shit. You know what I mean? Now you you got all these crazy ass thoughts and shit. You know what I mean? With your straight jacket needing motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like this. Feeling like that. Feeling like this and shit. Like this a... What it, I hope y'all ain't drinking and doing all punk ass shit. Cause this a motherfucker with a big ass cup of some shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're indulging in bullshit. It's just, it's sad, Divine Masculine. It's sad. And you and you want Divine Feminine. You do. Let's put one on this Queen of Cups. Because I asked how you feel. So we already know you want to take a leap. Want to make an offer. This shit's been basically, like, written in the stars. Or you finally fucking get it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like all this shit you know for sure now. You got the tower the high priestess and the moon reverse like this shit ain't no motherfucking news flash this ain't fucking breaking news to your motherfucking ass you know what i'm saying like you know what's popping you already know what it is and ain't nothing worse than a motherfucker knowing what they need to do and not doing that shit that should have kill you if you a real motherfucker and don't do what you're supposed to be doing that should have eat you up from the inside out if you a real motherfucker if you a fake motherfucker you don't give a fuck about nobody but yourself so ask yourself that question divine masculine when we get off this fucking uh set that we doing right now ask yourself which motherfucker you are because a real motherfucker ain't gonna feel like this for too much longer they just gonna come out and be like fuck it like i, I have to i can't feel like this so is you this motherfucker the real motherfucker that's gonna stand up or is you this motherfucker you know what i'm saying that's just gonna fall back and just let shit go you know what i'm saying it's 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 really your choice it ain't your choice but it is your choice like they say you can't change people but you can change how you are divine masculine real shit my g Queen of Cups. How else, let's clarify this Queen of Cups and how Divine Masculine feels about Divine Feminine. Knight of Pentacles, right? Like I said, have you noticed, Divine Masculine, that every time I ask how you feel, you coming up as an old, like, young-ass motherfucker. Like, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, right? When I asked what you were doing, you came up as the King of Wands. So like I said, in your own little world or the people that like follow behind you, you like a you like a motherfucker that got groupies and shit. You probably got motherfuckers behind you that like they you know what I mean? Like they admire what you do. And they lower. You know what I'm saying? They're lower than you. Like you you seem like you like peons around you. You know what I'm saying? I like motherfuckers. I want scholars around me. But divine masculine, it seems like you want motherfuckers around you that are under you. You know what I'm saying? To, to pump your head up and shit. Because when it comes to Divine Feminine, that King of Wands ain't popped out yet. You know what I'm saying? No King of Pentacles in this bitch. Nothing. It's this motherfucker. It's this old Weasley-ass motherfucker. So who are you? Who are you? Right? Who, 
who, who, right? Who are you? Because you one way with everybody else and you this way with us. You know what I mean? So are you f afraid of us? I mean, I don't know if I'm wording that correctly to say that you're scared, but you're looking like the one right now. You're looking like an old creepy crawler, ass tales of the crypt, ass scary ass motherfucker. I'm sorry, but you are. That's what you look like. Because it's like, you know you love divine feminine. You know you want to be with her. You know, no, no. Like, you know this, man, right? But you slow as fuck to approach her. So you rather just be creepy and shit like, uh, what was that movie with Robin Williams where he worked in the photo? What was this shit called? That photo shit? Sigh and shit. You just gonna fucking spy? You just gonna spy? And like like a fucking inchworm and shit? And like, ee, 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 Like, I mean, what are you doing? You gonna fuck around this divine feminine gonna be straight? Giz known. Giz known, okay? G-I-Z-Z-N-O-W-N, giz known. Gone, okay? That's what's going on. And the fact that you're watching this person walk out of your life, Divine Masculine, says a whole lot about you. That says that you probably give up on a whole lot of shit Divine Ma Feminine don't even know about. You probably even let a whole lot of shit slide by. You know what I'm saying? You have missed out on a whole lot of opportunities out of a lack of confidence or self-esteem or you just feel like you ain't capable of doing this shit or have the skills or the, the, the things needed, the necessity or whatever the fuck. Whatever it is you feel like you need to accomplish things in your life, you feel like you don't have them. And it's like, motherfucker, you can't order that shit on Amazon. All these skills are developed. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty is something you develop. Love, fucking prosperity, motivation, inspiration. Like, all those skills are developed. You, you can't buy this shit. So for you to sit around and wait for a motherfucker to bring it to you like it's motherfucking Uber Eats and shit, it's some real childish, immature ass shit. And you need to grow the fuck up right now. Shit, I feel like your fucking mama right now. Right now, Divine Masculine, right now! Okay? Anyway, on a side note, I'm gonna ask Divine Feminine just to let you know what she thinks about you watching her walk away. Like, because Divine Feminine already knows you feel this way. We know you lurking and shit. You know what I'm saying? We know you that motherfucker in the window staring and shit. We know this shit. It's flattering. But it's old now. Like, you know what I mean? We're about to turn the fucking sprinklers on on your ass in a minute because it's just, it's boring. I'm telling you. But I'll read the card just to let you know that Divine Feminine thinks this shit is whack as fuck just because maybe you don't believe me. So I'm going to tell you. What does Divine Feminine think of Divine Masculine just watching her walk the fuck on? What does Divine Feminine think about Divine Masculine just watching her walk the fuck on? Look, she about to turn on the motherfucking sprinklers. Like, get the fuck off my lawn. Like, you don't want this shit cool, G. Cool, then, then get ghost. Like, we, this is like, to me, this card is seven of wands. All or nothing, divine masculine. It's like you either want all this shit or back the fuck off. Don't be coming up here with these motherfucking wands and this little bullshit. We reject that shit. We reject that. That's some bullshit. This ain't high school. That's why she's like that. That's what she thinks about you, knowing that you want her and watching her walk away. Like, I reject all of that malarkey, right? The magician. Malarkey, okay? I reject the malarkey. You wanted me to read this shit, Divine Masculine. I fucking told you before I even pulled the cards that she thought it was some bullshit. It's, it's, it's bullshit. She's blocking this hocus pocus that you keep pulling. Like, we ain't falling for that shit. Ain't nobody falling for that shit. Y'all are grown motherfuckers, okay? I know you are. I know you grown. I'm not appealing to no fucking children, no teenagers around here. These are fucking grown ass motherfucking men. You know what I mean? So, nah, that shit ain't working. That shit ain't gonna work. It's just not, okay? So let's see, what action you plan on taking towards the divine feminine? Because right now you ain't doing shit and you know you should be doing shit. That's basically the gist of it. You watching the love of your life walk the fuck on out and you wanna go after this person and you know you wanna go after this person but you choose to sit up in your room like I said a while ago, like Brandy, sitting up in my room type shit. That's all you wanna do and dwell on it like, are you depressed, Divine Masculine? Because the time, I mean, it's, oh. What action does Divine Masculine want to take? Let's, let's not even say want to take, because we know what the fuck you want to do. What action will you take? Let's see what action Divine Masculine will take this week. Fuck it. Let's throw the dice. What action, what action will Divine Masculine take towards Divine Feminine this week? King of Swords. So this could either be you not talking, right, or deciding to... Speak up. Be a man. Say some shit. Say some shit. But remember, this four of swords was here. So I really feel like you're just going to overthink some more and shit. You're just going to drive yourself fucking crazy this week. 
is what it's looking like. You know what I'm saying? It looks like that. And you just gonna fucking spy on your bitch all the like it's just some old creepy shit. Like you are a Chester molester. Like you the motherfucker in the van talking about, do you wanna see my puppies? Like this is you right now, Divine Masculine. And you don't even have to be like this, G. This is you. Trying to snatch motherfuckers off the playground right now. Like, and I said earlier in the Divine Feminine one that I felt like a pedophile fucking with my Divine Masculine. So you are proving it in this reading right now. So, like I said, we're going to keep going, but this is either you wanting to communicate or still punking out and not doing a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? It's one or the other. Like, either big block, I'm not talking at all, or I'm going to stand up, be a man, and say some shit, right? Let's keep going. This divine masculine could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This divine masculine could be water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, all these motherfuckers is out here, okay? Okay. King of Swords. This is what action will divine masculine take towards divine feminine this week? Shit, it's already Wednesday. You used to sitting up in your room crying. Week damn near over, motherfucker. Like, get up off your ass. Get your ass off your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Three of swords. So, like, look. Okay? You ain't doing shit this week. Divine feminine, I know you watching. Don't get your hopes up, my G. Don't get your hopes up, queen. He ain't doing shit. <laughs> He's sitting up in his room. Remember, that clarified the four of swords like this. Still. Still. I don't care what those other readers are saying or either those other readers when they pick up and, and be like, oh, he's on his way for reconciliation and all that shit. I know what they see. They seeing shit like this. You know what I mean? And a basic ass reading would be like, yeah, it does look like he's on his way. He's, he's slowly building and getting himself together. Fuck all that bullshit. You know what I mean? Fuck all that. We know all that shit. You know what I mean? But it's like, why is he still stuck in this energy? Like, I want the reader to tell me why. Why is, why is he not able to evolve? You know what I mean? What kind of fucking creature is this? Like, you know what I mean? Humans grow and evolve. Like, so what am I dealing with? The motherfucking sea monkey? Like, bitch, tell me what the fuck is going on, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to disregard or, like disrespect any readers out there but i just feel like y'all don't get to the nitty gritty of the shit sometimes you know what i mean like you telling me like he's the divine masculine is coming and he's healing and he's got other shit in third like you know what i mean like who the fuck doesn't who doesn't you know what i mean so is that an excuse all right is this an excuse for the divine masculine or you just is this just a 100 fact thing like you just reading the cards because if you just reading the cards well then just say you're reading the cards but then don't try to get my hopes up to somebody coming because this motherfucker ain't coming nowhere this motherfucker that just want to come somewhere like a motherfucker that like we all want to win the lottery you know what i'm saying we all want a motherfucking 18 room mansion and just a, a money tree in the backyard like yeah we all want that shit shit i want you know what i mean all kinds of shit I want a damn espresso machine built in my motherfucking kitchen. And what the fuck do that mean? You know what I mean? So? And that's what this is. This is like divine masculine wanting some like sympathy or shit. And the divine feminine is like, so? Like, I so? Anyway, what action does, let me keep moving. So the action that divine masculine plans on taking towards divine feminine this week ain't shit. It's king of swords and it's three of swords. He's still stuck like Kiki. Do you love me? Say you'll never ever leave from beside me because I want you and I need you and I'm down for you always. But he ain't telling Divine Feminine this shit. You mums the word in this bitch, Divine Masculine. Okay? You just are, G. Page of Wands, right? So this is wanting to take action, initiating action, but guess what? This shit ain't even facing the shit it's supposed to be facing. <laughs> Why is it looking this way? I'm gonna see where, where it's looking, where it's headed to, but it's not headed to where it's It should be something like this, maybe, or like this. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, motherfucker want to talk, right? No, my G, it's like this. This is like the equivalent to me, like, I know I need to do some shit, but mm -hmm. la, la, la. like, I'm ignoring the shit. I'm not going to say shit. I know what I need to do. Like I said, it'll either make you or break you, Divine Masculine. If you are real Divine Masculine and you are chosen to be with your Divine Feminine and you want to be that motherfucker and you know where you need to be, this shit is only going to last so long before you fucking just explode and have to give in. Only way this Divine Masculine will not give in if it, this, number one, is not your Divine Masculine or, number two, if he just a punk, period. You know what I'm saying? He really don't give a fuck about nobody but himself. And then, AKA, then that would not make him Divine at all. Somebody Divine don't act like this. You know, 
you can go through some some stages, you know what I'm saying, and like have ups and downs and bad days and good days, but to be stuck in this energy like on a constant, consistent basis is not divine at all. Like y'all motherfuckers losing money, losing places, losing friends, lost your love of your life, then you sit up in your room, if you still have one, because some of y'all lost your places, sit up in your mama's house in your old bedroom and cry about the shit. Like do something, do something. Yeah, you may have to come back to divine feminine and be like, boo, I fucked up. Like, I thought I knew what the fuck I was doing, and shit totally backfired. But some of y'all don't want to do that shit. Y'all trying to save face and shit. Y'all trying to be this king of wands, and your whole, you're just watching your whole... The king of wands is watching this five of pentacles, this tower, this four of swords, despair... You watching your whole life burn down. This like a motherfucker watching their house burn down and not call the fucking fire department. Like, oh well, it's already burning, so we might as well just let the rest of the shit burn. Like, what kind of shit is that? Page of Wands. This is the action he plans on taking towards Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine's taking this action. This is a big motherfucking action for a little bitty ass wand. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're just daydreaming. I don't take this as you taking action to get a new beginning started. Because you're not even facing the Three of Swords and it's not coming from the King of Swords. It's facing the other way. It's just you still wanting to do some shit that your ass ain't fucking done. Like, so you're not going to do shit. Just just be 100, Divine Masculine, and say, I ain't going to do shit this weekend uh, or this week, get on none. I'm going to sit up in my room like Mr. Lonely and shit and cry. Like, that's it. Just, we didn't even have to pull all these motherfucking cars. You could have told me to bring you a fucking box of Kleenex. And I could have got the whole gist of what you're going to do this week towards the Divine Feminine if you just said, bring me some Kleenex in this bitch, some bonbons, and I want to watch Still Magnolias. Because that's what the fuck you on right now, Divine Masculine. You Still Magnolias up in this bitch. You, you on some chick flick shit, yo. Divine Masculine, you watching chick flicks? Because that's the vibe I'm getting, yo. Let's put one on this Three of Swords. Pathway. Like, let me put another one down, but I still feel like you just dwelling on this shit. Like, you keep going over and over and over and over in your head, walking down this deep-ass road, like, well, what if she has somebody else? What if Divine Feminine is with somebody else? What if Divine Feminine never wants to see me again? What if when I get Divine Feminine, she cut me out? What if Divine Feminine is to do in my jeans? What if she hanged up? Like, man, man, what the fuck? What if had a fifth and then that motherfucker got drunk? Like, shut your whiny ass up. All I hear is whining. You like a fucking, I like I work in a fucking nursery with like a bunch of babies who ain't been fed or changed. It's just like a, that's all I hear, Divine Feminine, if you listen to this. Like I channel shit and I just hear a fucking bunch of fucking babies crying and shit. Or like I'm walking through like a fucking ASPCA for fucking animals and all the dogs are barking. Like that's all I hear. It's just whining, G. Like shut the fuck up. It's just whining, Divine Masculine. It's in one ear and out the other for Divine Feminine. I'm going to keep it so real with you, G. King of Swords, let's put one in this chair. We love you, though. <laughs> let, me, let me just put that out there, because I do go a little hard in the paint, I ain't gonna lie. We love you, though. Like, we love the fuck out of your ass. We do. We just don't understand your thinking and shit. Like, we don't understand. We don't get it. Especially when you're watching other people coming in union with their divine masculines, it's got us questioning, like, well, what the fuck am I dating? What, what, who am I in love with? Is this, or you know what I mean, is this shit like going by alphabetical? Like, do they start from A to Z and all the Andersons and Andrews and the, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Alexanders, all them motherfuckers got in the union. Like, what are we, Zazinskis? We are the Zazinskis? Like, am I fucking in the Z category and I'm just the last motherfucker to get in union with my divine masculine? Because I, I just don't get it. I don't. Let's pull on this King of Swords. Sorry, I'm at 33 minutes. Y'all piss me off every time I do a reading with y'all, though. Every time child came out okay when i ask what will the divine masculine what action will he take towards the divine feminine okay I, i'm not gonna get in y'all's ass okay like i said did i not just say 47 seconds ago that i heard a bunch of fucking babies in the nursery fucking crying did i not just say that y'all because that's what the fuck it is it's just wah, wah, like newborn babies and shit that's all i hear is hungry babies like, y'all want to be coddled or some shit, Divine Masculine. Y'all want to be coddled? Like, Divine Feminine is not crawling back. Get that out your fucking skinny, dumbass head. You know what I mean? She just ain't. She's not, G. So, I guess if the chick flick and the bonbons and all that shit y'all got to do is what you got to do, then do it. If the roles have been totally reversed here. Like, Divine Masculine used to be the one getting some. Getting, getting some. Right? And now Divine Feminine is getting it. And Divine Masculine is acting like the Divine Feminine. Like, the energies are bouncing off. So, 
I mean, shit. Change came out <clears throat> to clarify this page of wands and this ace of wands. So like I said, you know what the fuck you need to do, Divine Masculine. It's a big deal. It's a big move. You know what I mean? It's a lot of work. And you just, I mean, fuck. You ain't ready, you ain't ready, my G. Like, it's, it's, it's actual factual, basically. So what's going on? Can't nobody make y'all motherfuckers do shit. You know what I mean? We, can't nobody make y'all do shit. Y'all on that y'all mean, basically. Because you be on that y'all mean. And people who be on that y'all mean, you can't make them do shit. You can't make them see shit because they just have tunnel vision and they're going to be stuck in that shit. Like, you just want to be stuck in this energy, Divine Masculine. And if that's where you want to be, my G, then cool. 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 But let me tell you something. You're missing out on so much. Not even just the Divine Feminine, but all the shit around you. The beauty around you. Life around you. You know what I mean? That's why I feel like a lot of y'all motherfuckers ain't really been through no shit. That's what I feel. And people get mad when I say this, but I always say, like, if you haven't really lost somebody in your life, like, really, really lost somebody, like, I mean... People die and like when they get old and all that shit, they pass away and all that. And we know that. But I mean, have you ever just lost somebody that like unexpectedly that you love? You didn't even get to tell goodbye or, you know what I mean? Like my brother was murdered last year. My brother was 25, got murdered in his sleep. I never got to tell my brother shit. You know what I mean? And like maybe that was part of the whole thing that kind of kicked me into gear too. It was like, damn, you need to like tell motherfuckers you love them while they're here because literally shit be going like that, right? So I feel like if you haven't had, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you could get mad when I say this, but I feel like people that have had traumatic experiences appreciate life more. It's just real. They do. People that have lost people close to them unexpectedly or like some real traumatic things have happened to them, they appreciate life. So they don't let motherfuckers just walk in and out of their life that they love. You know what I mean? They like to fix things because tomorrow is not promised. So Divine Masculine, I feel like you've been coddled a lot of your life and maybe you have an experience loss. Maybe this whole despair, poverty, and this tower and all this shit, maybe this is your traumatic loss for you to be able to appreciate motherfuckers in your life. You know what I mean? If you get that second chance. Thank God that you get a second chance if you get a second chance with your Divine Feminine because motherfuckers is checking up out of here. I don't know if you've been paying attention to 2018, but motherfuckers is leaving. You know what I'm saying? Going up to glory, motherfucker. Are you paying attention to this shit? You know what I mean? So to let somebody you love walk away like that, like if anything happened to Divine Feminine tomorrow, how the fuck you gonna feel? You know what I mean? Divine Feminine gonna feel good because she expressed her love to you. I'm sure she has. And to others around her. And she cut out motherfuckers that don't deserve her love. Like it's a real clear cut her uh, divine feminist tribe is set you know what i mean so we making sure that we're there for the motherfuckers that we need to be there for and express love to motherfuckers we need to express love to what are you doing you wasting time god forbid that you lose anybody close to you divine masculine you already losing jobs homes money like what else you gotta lose my g what else don't lose nothing else i don't want you to lose nothing else because you know what else you losing yourself like i'm watching a man a divine masculine lose himself I don't like that. And Divine Feminine doesn't like it either. So please pull that shit together. I'm going to say a prayer for you tonight. I know I cussed you out, but I'm going to say a prayer for you tonight. Right now, as soon as I get off this shit, actually, because it's kind of sad that you feel like you stuck like this. I feel like you don't have anybody, and the people you do have around you are just yes men. Like, yes, 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 I'll do this. Yes, you look good. Yes, I'll give you money. Yes, let's go out. Like, motherfuckers, that ain't feeding your soul. That's got to be a really disparaging place to be in right now. So... Good luck with them uh, chick flicks and bonbons, yo. Have a good-ass time with that. That's probably where the fuck you need to be. So you go ahead and do that, okay? I still love you anyway, though. All right? That has been your reading, what's popping with the Divine Masculine. Like I said, this may or may not resonate with every Divine Masculine or Feminine, but you know what I mean? Fuck it. That's what came out. Shit. Hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nine. I'll see y'all later. Bye.